So we just gotten some news for some upcoming events on Dokkan for the worldwide celebration. If you thought Cell Max was going to be the only hard event for this celebration, you are completely wrong because we have a sneak peek of a brand new ultimate red zone stage or category, which is the Wicked Bloodline Edition. It's only a sneak peek, so we don't know all the full details of it, but as you can see, there's freezer and cooler on the images. Already confirmed to be multiple stages as all the stages in yellow is plural, which means there's going to be at least two or more. And uh, we're going to be getting a new support memory and we're going to get obviously the same kind of rewards. I'd assume tickets as well and a support memory, which is this cooler one. So Namek Goku is slowly going to climb up the ranks because of this specific category which is very interesting. Now, if you look at the Wicked Bloodline category, I don't know what else they could potentially do other than Cooler transforming, even though they've already done Cooler. I guess we're just going to get another one. And then a Freezer transforming. Uh, you probably could do some King Cold shenanigans or like, I don't know what else they could do other than Freezer and Cooler. Maybe Cooler will have Golden Cooler at the very end of the battle. And uh, Freezer will obviously transform. I don't know if he's going to start on the... F or go. I don't know if he's going to go golden, however. Since that's a lot of phases. You got first form, second form, third form, final form, full power. That's already five phases. They could skip full power and just go final form. Not too sure of how this is going to um, plan out. But that's uh, very interesting. Another way they could do it is probably just go through the strongest forms of every single part of the family so king cold full power freezer cooler maybe have chilled in there because there's not many else other than that <laughs> so uh at the very least i would say no more than four stages my guess that's my guess now not only that we have the sneak peek of the new story event which has the new free-to-play ssr gohan and goku which was sneak peeked through the v jump leaks now, because he Doken awakens into Gohan and Goku, he's not going to get hybrid Saiyans. Uh, it's just going to be that join forces, Goku's family kind of deal, which is quite unfortunate. Unless it's some sort of exchange unit, that's the only way it's going to get saved. But if the SSR is any good, then you can obviously have a pretty good linking partner with the uh, SSR Gohan and Goku when, when they Doken awaken. Not like you needed one since, since there's so many Gohan and Goku cards to begin with. And most of the Z Fighter, Gohans, and Gokus pretty much share a lot of the same links. And then there's going to be also a brand new boss rush here. Um, the preparation will start on the 25th of August. And it'll probably take like two days to, in order for this to come out. Or one day, I'm not too sure how long it takes for the preparation period. But uh, you all know what boss rush entails. It's pretty easy. Uh, the last boss rush ended off at Golden Freezer. So we look at the timeline after Golden Freezer, which I have pulled up here. It goes to Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4, the int one. And then we will probably have... I'm not too sure if Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is going to be in there, but definitely Bo, um, but definitely Bojack's definitely going to be in there. And, and then Janemba and Pycon... Those will be two separate ones. They definitely will be in there. And then the and then if Vegito is not there, then it will be one of the six-year anniversary Don't Confess uh, stages, which uh, I would assume Vegito would be in there working at five. And then that way, these two can be in together for the next boss rush that comes out. That would make the most sense because they usually pair up the um, boss rush stages, the dual Don't Confess, like here. We got the um, Vegito and the uh, Subaru. Of course, there's probably going to be outliers in here, but that's just a guess. Like the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Goku and Vegeta's in there, like the LRs. So I would assume Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta will be in there just to make it sure that the six year anniversary Dokken Fest goes into level uh, 17. I definitely miscounted there. So my final boss rush bosses prediction is going to be Bojack the PyCon Janemba, and then the six-year anniversary LR, don't confess, being MUI Goku as well as Evolution Blue Vegeta. And I think they're going to skip Vegito for this one. That's my guess. But other than that, we have no more news for the Worldwide Celebration as of yet. Other than those, ho hopefully you guys are ready for another Ultimate Red Zone. Uh, I'm quite excited. I don't mind trying to beat some more since uh, I'm, I only need to beat Brawly still. 
If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on the daily content. Check out my social medias linked in the description. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay physique. Peace out.